Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry if my throat sounds a little messed up for a moment. Uh, it was because I was eating lunch, so I had to eat some lunch before doing this review. But I got a chance to listen to the new uh, Earl Sweatshirt album, Sick. And that's the album review that I'm doing right now. For, like I said in my last track review, this was going to be for Earl Sweatshirt's sick album review that I just got done listening to. And yes, this is an album review. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for these 10 songs, which it's not really a very long album, so it's pretty short for what it is. Uh, but I'll let you know what I thought of this Earl Sweatshirt album. So let's dive into this review. Now this was probably the next album I felt I wanted to give a shot, give a chance for, and it was good. Um, there may have been some songs I wasn't sure if I was liking as much, like Vision featuring Z Looper, Z. Uh, I don't know if I feel for that one, it's one of the weaker songs in my opinion, uh, so 4 out of 5 for that one, uh, Sick, the title track, it's not bad, it's a little weird, but Earl Sweatshirt's known to make some weird tunes, honestly, but not that I hate some of his songs, I've heard Doris years ago, but I never really followed him after that, <clears throat> So I've been a little distant from his uh, music. And Old Friend was a pretty alright song to start the album. Then comes 2010 and that was quite an interesting song. Which I enjoyed that song quite a bit. Um, it's mostly rapping stuff. If this is not the music for you then you'll have to find something else to listen to. Uh... But yeah, uh, Tabula Raza featuring Armand Hammer was a pretty dope song. Really like it. Uh, they're both, Armand Hammer is pretty much rapping through about almost two minutes of the song. So about half the song he's rapping in. And then Earl Sweatshirt comes in for his verse. And it sounds pretty dope. So five out of five for that. Lie was pretty good, L-Y-E, uh, I really enjoyed that one, uh, so, it's not a very long song, but it's still something interesting to get through the record, so, 5 out of 5, Lobby Interlude was pretty good, it's just mostly him rapping, and I guess the Lobby music is playing too as well. So I'm not sure. Sorry about the ding. It's my phone or whatever. It does that sometimes. Um, but yeah. God Laughs was uh, a pretty dope song. And so is Titanic. They're very short songs when you get closer to the end of the album. So you're not in for a very long album for this. It's only 24 minutes. So it's not a really long album. But... It's something good. Uh, Fire in the Hole was a pretty dope song. I really liked how it end, ended the album and closed it. It sounded pretty dope. So I enjoyed it. It was a bop for sure. So meaning I thought it was a dope song. So that's all I can say about it. Uh, production, mixing, and execution, Earl Sweatshirt's sick album was good for what it was. Uh, there may have been a few songs I wasn't sure if I was liking, like Old Friend, Sick, and Vision, featuring Z Looper Z. Um, I think Vision was the weakest song, and that kind of did bring the rating down a bit, in my opinion. But still, it's good for what it is, so overall... I think Earl Sweatshirt's Sick album was a good listen. Uh, definitely check it out if you haven't listened to it yet. It did come out today um, for streaming on YouTube and all that. So 
if you guys are fans of Earl Sweatshirt, you're going to like this record. If you're worried for it a bit, I wouldn't be, because it's not a terrible record. It's not a terrible album at all, is what I meant to say. But it's good for what it is. So first score, for me, I'm going to give Earl Sweatshirt's sick album an 8 out of 10. This was a good listen. Highly recommend you check it out uh, if you haven't listened to it yet. Um, it's It depends on the person who views the record and what they think of the album, of course. If it's their kind of music, if it's not, then, like I said, you'd have to find something else to listen to. But I enjoyed Earl Sweatshirt's sick album. It was much better than the Skillet album, in my opinion. Um, even though there were some songs from Skillet's new album that I kind of enjoyed, but the record did fall flat for me. But anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Earl Sweatshirt album, Sick, if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this album review uh, for Earl Sweatshirt's Sick uh, album review I did for you guys about this afternoon, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I will be returning to you for another video. Um, I don't know which video it's going to be. It's mostly probably going to be a movie review is going to be the next video. I haven't decided yet. I know I need to start some more marathon studio album reviews. I've just been falling behind on that. Uh, but yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed this, uh, album review for Earl Sweatshirt Sick. Um, it's, like I said, it's a really short album, it's only 24 minutes, but it's an enjoyable listen, uh, for what it is. It's mostly him sounding good when he's rapping, and some of the, one of the featured artists, Z Looper Z, was my least favorite, because his rapping was a little bit annoying, in my opinion, uh, but that's just how I view it, but... Yeah, uh, so stay safe, guys. Take care. Have a great rest of your Friday. And uh, if I don't see you again till tonight, of course. And as always, I'll see you in my next review.